Hello learners, welcome to Trick Science, and today we're finally answering the question that's crossed the mind of everybody's inner child. How long do Pokemon live? Does a certain type live longer than others? And out of all the Pokemon created so far, who's immortal if not all of them? I know that ghost Pokemon are probably rampaging across your mind right now as the undisputed winner, but hold on, we'll get there. As it stands, there are currently 18 different types of Pokemon, being fire water, grass, electric, psychic, steel, normal, fairy, dark, flying, ghost, poison, ice, ground, rock, dragon, fighting, and bug. Given that some types like dark were introduced and added onto Pokemon that already existed as another type, and many Pokemon belong to two types, like some poison types also being bug types. This is quite a lot to go through and attempt to sort out in a coherent way, so hold on to your Pikachu juice boxes as we plunge into the world of Pokemon and physiology. In order to assess which type as a whole lives the longest, we first need to know what it is that causes a species to age and eventually die. Save for a few, and I mean a few creatures, like the immortal jellyfish and hydra that for reasons we're not entirely sure about, seem to literally live forever. All all of these animal species age and die. But in fact, nothing alive actually dies of old age. Instead, the reason for why all Pokemon have a non-infinite lifespan is related to both intrinsic and extrinsic factors damaging their cells. As an animal ages, their cells get worse at dividing properly, mostly thought to be due to the fact that telomeres, which are comprised of DNA that doesn't get used when a cell divides, continue to get shorter as part of them get cut off every time a cell divides, until eventually the important DNA between the chromosomes start to get cut off. Really, all of the scientific mumbo jumbo that happens to cells as they age, causing them to not function as well or abnormally, eventually leads to a buildup of senescent or functionally weak cells that are more at risk to succumbing to disease, infection, at having organ problems, or failure. Whew. Okay, now getting out of that sad, depressing land, and looking at our colorful childhood pals, what determines if a Pokemon type is going to live longer than others? Really like most animals, with a few exceptions, we can guess that Pokemon live longer based on their overall size, and unlike most animals, what they're made out of. It's been long known that there's a pretty solid link between an animal's size and their lifespan, with larger animals like elephants and whales tending to live much longer than mice, fish, and birds. This is thought to be due to the fact that larger animals have a lower metabolic rate, while smaller animals have a much higher metabolic rate. Biologists remarkably have discovered that most animals have about 1 billion heartbeats in their lifetime, and a lower metabolic rate means that your heart doesn't beat as fast. There are cancer studies showing possible links between a higher metabolism also causing more cell growth and division, making those telomeres get cut off faster, Why larger low metabolism animals have a lower incident of cancer. The one big factor mentioned that is absolutely unique to the world of Pokemon is that a Pokemon's lifespan can vary drastically depending on what it's made out of. If you want to see more about this topic, you can check out this episode that's all about determining what ghost Pokemon really are. So now, knocking out of the way the Pokemon types that have lower lifespans, these would most likely be the bug types, poison types, again bugs, grass and flying types followed by electric and normal fire psychic with some exceptions and lastly water thanks a 200 year old behemoth like well lord from there things get dicey as the competition heats up between fairy grounder fighting steel and ice types fairy being mostly fleshy based pokemon would most likely go first among these three other pokemon groups the one with the shorter lifespan would probably be steel types as the average lifespan for steel that's exposed to environmental weathering is around 260 years the the next one honestly is pretty tough as ice Pokemon who are made out of ice and have an extremely low to no metabolic rate would possibly live on forever if they stayed in the cold, while rock types depending on if they're exposed to weathering would also quite possibly live on forever as it takes their atoms billions of years to degrade, as we still have some Archaean rocks around today that are 1.4 billion years old. But for this one we're gonna say ice Pokemon live longer as they won't slowly degrade at all if they're not exposed to 
her quick, horrifying death through heat. This leaves it down to our last two competitors, Ghost and Dragon. Taking in everything we know about lifespans and what's said in the Pokédex about these two species, the Pokémon that would absolutely, undisputedly, unassailably live the longest is... Dragon Pokemon. Now, now, I know it could be argued that ghost types will live longer because they're immortal ghosts while dragon types are living fleshy Pokemon, but let's just hold on for a second. Firstly, as mentioned in the Ghost Pokemon episode, ghost Pokemon aren't actually ghosts. Have members of their type die, and like all other Pokemon, are exactly what they're made out of, which is actually poison gases, tea, stone, wood, m metal. Is that a chandelier? And sometimes shadow. You would think that ghost Pokemon, some who have obviously lived for hundreds if not thousands of years would win, but as a whole class, there's not one of them that have ever been known to live longer than many if not the majority of the dragon type Pokemon. You see, most of the Pokemon that despite having two class traits are still listed as dragon type Pokemon are generally immortal legendary Pokemon. That's right, quite a bit of this class consists of legendary Pokemon gods, some who have been alive since, well, almost forever ago when Arceus or God created them before any other Pokemon existed. I mean, Zygarde, Latios and Latias, Rishram, Zekrom, Palkia, Dialga, Giratina, Rayquaza, Curem, and Internatus. Ghost Pokemon, despite their obvious longevity, just haven't been known to outlive or have lived longer than their fellow Pokemon gods. But we still love you guys. So there you have it, our first place winner in the Pokemon Lifespan Contest. Anyways, that's just some lovely science. Trick science! See you learners on the flip side. <laughs>